where Churchill said, <laughs> uh, Here we said, go again. I swear to God. Boris Johnson. All you hear from these goddamn American retired generals, I, I, they talk so much goddamn garbage, I swear to God. They talk, well, our forces, we put ourselves in danger to keep from hurting civilians. Oh my God almighty. I never heard so much garbage in my goddamn life from these people. Anything, anything that they can do to blame Russia. Russia is the dirtiest, the killingest. All their generals are all butchers. I mean, Jesus Christ the money. Every time a general orders a goddamn airstrike on something, he just became a butcher. <laughs> anyway, Keen, oh God, the Pentagon spokesman. Anyway, it's all typical the same garbage like it always has been. And they keep saying, Russia is targeting civilians. They're targeting civilians. No, they are not directly targeting civilians. They're targeting military people shooting at them. If civilians, if the, well, the Ukrainians have always had a reputation of having civilians around them when they're fighting. I guess they think maybe the other side won't shoot back. <laughs> oh shit, just ask the USA and Israel and a few of the other countries. <laughs> but anyway, and this Boris German dude going to Kiev and some other dude going to Kiev, that guy, he'll do anything to try to get five minutes of freaking fame. Valensky, hell, didn't even go back to Kiev until the uh, Russian military pulled out. Then it became safe for him to return. And I don't give a shit what people say, okay? He did not stay in Kiev while the military, Russian military was there. That's all in the hell there is to it. And he has this saying, what was the news I heard a while ago? Oh, tens of thousands now mark these words it's his words tens of thousands of civilians killed in Maripol <laughs> oh my god somebody should have gave him a different script to read <laughs> tens of thousands oh what a what a loser I swear to god anyway but the whole point is, I didn't think Russia would try to be so lenient and take so damn long. I figured this thing would totally be over with a couple of days ago. But things have a way of uh, not turning out the way you expect it. So right now, we'll see how this big push in the south, southeast is going. Uh, like I say, just as long as uh, NATO and the EU and the USA don't make any stupid mistakes, because, boy, I tell you, the little people of the world are really paying hard for it right now, and we're going to be paying for it for a long time. Just don't make a mistake to where it could lead to World War III. And the way they're pushing... Oh my God, a money! They, oh, now they're pushing Finland and Sweden to join NATO. <laughs> That's just another way of trying to put pressure on Russia. Try to push them closer over that cliff. And I tell you, it will be interesting. Like I say, I've studied a lot of war in my time. And... Uh, they're always bringing up Syria, Syria. Oh, my God, Amani. Of course, the USA was involved there, too, like we're always involved in other people's shit. <laughs> anyway, 
it will be interesting to see how in the hell this plays out. Um, we'll see how in the hell it plays out. Uh, but right now, the whole world is blaming Russia for every damn civilian or Ukrainian military guy killed. And if you look at a lot of those videos, you'll see a lot of those guys carrying guns. Uh, they're not in uniform. They're not military, normal. They're citizens that just became soldiers because they're carrying a weapon. And that makes them a soldier, damn it. It does not make them a civilian, period. Okay, we'll see how in the hell it plays out. Bye, folks. <laughs> Have a good one.